All right, so we are here uh, just south of the hill of Corton, and uh, we spent the morning this morning tasting in the Cote de Nuit. We spent the morning tasting the 2020 vintage from Barrel, uh, which is why our teeth look like this. Look like we've been drinking <laughs> Syrah all day. Uh, it's an extremely dense vintage, uh, small yields, but that's really the only thing, the only problem with it, because the wines are beautiful, and uh, and we're really excited to to get them back eventually to the states whenever they they get in bottle and get over to us. But it's an exciting, very dense, very concentrated vintage. Yes, in fact, the, the hill of Courtois is actually in the Côte de Beaune. It's the very northern limit of the Côte de Beaune. Lodois just passed it. And the town there is Alox Courton. Uh, we just left the Domaine Raveau, our producer of Alox Courton, tasted uh, both village and premier cru level wines. It's big wine. Oh, yeah, more, more very <laughs> dense, very chewy yeah. 2020 red. Uh, and then some some more classic 2021s, which won't be won't be available for a while, but some really delicious wines being made here. We started this morning in Vaughan Romanet with Domaine Michel Gros, or Pierre Gros, Michel's son, is now the winemaker. The wines we tasted were the 2020s from Barrel, and they're just terrific. Huge, dense, very extracted wines, but with lots of really nice freshness and excellent balance. We then drove down to uh, Vugio, uh, where we tasted with a producer we haven't tasted with in a very long time, with some exciting, very interesting wines that we hope to be able to introduce soon. We had a quick lunch in Nuit Saint-Georges and then drove down to Demigny where we tasted with a producer, a new producer, making Rully uh, and Pomard Premier Cru, and then back up to La Doie with the Domaine Gaston Pierre Raveau. Uh, Vincent Raveau tasted us through his 2020s and 2021s from Barrel and they're really excellent. Well, we're about to head back to Bone, uh, having dinner at the home of some good friends we've been working with for 20 years now, uh, looking very much forward to it. And then tomorrow we're back up in the Côte de Nuit to taste in Chambon Musigny and Maurice Saint-Denis uh, and Gervais Chambertin. So it'll be another, uh, another tannin uh, filled <laughs> and uh, del hopefully delicious wine filled day tomorrow. That's it for tasting update number eight. We'll see you back here tomorrow.